Hello and welcome to Vienna Calling. My name is Sascha and I'm going to show you how to have the time of your life here in Vienna. Today I will show you how to get around in the city and the things you should avoid when you're doing so. My personal favorite is walking. There's no better way to get around the city and see the nicest things, especially here in the city center. But I'll admit it, you're mostly very slow. So if you don't want to walk or you need to save some time, I would recommend you to use the public transport. With the official app called Wienmobil, you can buy your tickets online and plan your route in one place. If you don't want to buy your ticket online, you can also buy them with the ticket machines in every subway station. You can also buy your ticket in the tram, but be aware that it's a little bit more expensive and know that you can't buy tickets on the bus. Every ticket is valid for the subway, the bus, the tram and the trains inside Vienna. Only the Westbahn train and the airport buses are excluded. And as we showed you in another episode, the CAT City Airport train, which you should avoid at any cost. So unlike other European cities in Vienna, you could get into the subway station without a ticket because we have no physical barrier that opens up when you scan your ticket. But we really don't recommend it because there are people working there trying to catch the guys without the valid ticket. So don't do that. And that brings us to our word of the week, which is Schwarzkappler. And that's the name for the guys that are walking around the subway stations trying to catch you without a ticket. So don't get caught. So what ticket you should buy really depends on your personal plans and what you want to do. So we will give you just a quick overview, okay? So a regular ticket is the cheapest option for 2 euros and 40 cents. It's a one-way ticket. If you take more than three trips per day, a daily ticket pays off. So obviously there are a lot more options of tickets that you could buy. So we will give you a link in the description box where you can check those out as well. And that brings us to our top tip of the week which is the Easy City Pass or the Queer City Pass. So you could just buy the regular tickets for like a week, but you also can take the Easy City Pass or the Queer City Pass. Those are a little bit more expensive, but you get a lot of discounts for restaurants and bars and clubs. So if you are going to use it, it actually pays off and it makes a lot of sense. If you are in a hurry or with a group of friends, it can be convenient to take a taxi or an Uber. Nowadays, all Uber drivers are certificated taxi drivers, so don't be confused when you order an Uber and the taxi picks you up. It's still the cheapest option to book it on the Uber app, even though the price difference is not so big anymore. So if you want to be a part of the cool kids, like me, you can also use these scooters. You're probably familiar with that. Uh, they are in every bigger city. They are up to 20 to 30 cents per minute, so it's not the cheapest way. But I can assure you, it's a lot of fun. Just make sure how to use them properly. Vienna is a great city for cycling and by bike you are almost as fast as with the public transport. So with the app we mentioned earlier, Wienmobil, you can sign up and rent one of those bikes. It's 60 cents for half an hour with a maximum price of 15 euros per day. If you sign up, you can even reservate it for 15 minutes so when you get there, you're sure that it's still there. So if you have any questions, we put you the link in the description box. But unfortunately, the website is not yet translated to English. So if the public transport of Vienna is listening right now, I really would like to ask you, why no English? Another way to get around the city and even out of the city is car sharing. So to be honest, we haven't tried it ourselves yet because you don't really need a car in Vienna. But we did our research and we put the two best options in the description box down below. Thank you. So let us know which option of getting around you like best. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to text us a comment. Make sure to like and subscribe, that helps us a lot for sure. My name is Sasha, it's Sepp and Jasmin behind the camera and we see you next week when it's Vienna Calling.